this will be our base layer of brick that we're going to use to start out our stove with you can see the brick in the back is sticking out a little farther you can you can break a brick in half and not have to do that i don't see any reason to break one in half um you can just build on it that way let's get started with the second layer the second layer of this is going to look an awful lot like the first except for we're not going to put a brick here so you'll want to just put each brick on top of the existing same pattern let your one in the back hang over again now that we've got the second layer of brick or the first course above our our base now is where we're going to want to start building to where we'll overlap these gaps kind of just make it a little bit stronger and sturdier in that way this brick is what you're going to put on overhanging and that's going to create your opening for your your fire inlet next layer again alternate different than, than the way you'd had it on the previous layer and you want to continue to do that until you're built up where you want to be we could stop it right here uh, and, and make that our rocket stove and it would function well I like to have it a little bit higher taller um, I really believe that if you've got it a little bit taller you're going to draw better once it starts heating up and it'll pull that pull that air in through there which is going to keep the fire burning a lot hotter that's pretty high at this point I'm gonna take these three brick just make me a little surface to maybe store some wood or, or keep some stuff on there just a quick tip if you guys are if it's in a wetter time of the year spring fall or even in the summer when you've had a lot of rain any sticks that you pick up off the ground if it's not been hot and, and dry out they're not gonna be uh, ready for burning they'll pull a lot of moisture out of the ground I always like to to pull sticks and stuff that are in trees still that I know are dead I know this branch hanging down here is dead um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some twigs off of there because it's been up off of the ground it won't pull moisture off of the ground the wind has been passing by it now for two or three days since it rained so I know that's going to be some good starter material. So I'll grab some of that and we'll get that fire started. That water is just about ready to boil. It's got a lot of bubbles on the bottom of the pan there. Uh, it's it's getting hot. It's definitely something, like I said in the beginning of the video, that you could certainly use for an emergency situation if you had to heat up some food um, or even just make a fire to stay warm. Uh, this would be a good way to do it. Doesn't doesn't take up a lot of area. You don't need a large amount of wood to produce a high amount of heat. That's one of the beauties of these stoves like this. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on building a rocket stove. Um, 
Again, if I could, I'd like to ask you one more time, hit, hit that subscribe button after you're done watching this video on, on YouTube. It'll just help with the algorithm and, and get my videos up a little bit higher and, and have the potential for more people to see them. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.